Hi Kavita, congratulations for your job. So, yeah, hi Pradeep, thank you. Basically, thank this you. Uh, this uh, podcast, uh, uh, the reason here is uh, like if you can share your uh, preparation methodology or uh, what are the problems you have faced so that it will help others. Basically, the challenge is what you have faced and how you handle those or uh, any specific uh, like uh, any topic if you are focused more for your interview point of view. Uh, the like how many interviews you faced, rejections, all these things you can share. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, okay. So here uh, the main thing we have to focus is on uh, EBS and APP. So major questions are there from EBS and APP. Uh, like uh, scenario based questions are there more. Hmm. Um, uh, for example, uh, if the proposal is happening and completed successfully. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are talking like, about APP run. Right. Hmm. The question is like uh, the proposal is happening and completed successfully, but the hmm. document is not getting posted. What is the reason for this? Uh, so like the scenario based question, there was more actually. So, okay. So here I will interrupt you. So that means no one is asking how to do the APP hmm. configuration. Rather, they are asking this will be the scenario and how you are going to handle it exactly. or what will be the solution. Yeah, exactly. Correct. So. Uh, this is what the situation, so configuration part uh, once they are strong, so we can uh, answer for these uh, scenario basis questions. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, initially, I was also not aware about the scenario based questions after uh, attending a two to three, um, uh, yeah, three to four interviews only, then I came to learn. So uh, I'm not uh, like, um, uh, yeah, just a minute. Yeah, hello. Mm, yes. Yeah, Kavita, go ahead. Yeah, Pradeep, can you able to hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead. Mm, yeah, okay. So, uh, initially, I was uh, facing very struggle to clear the interview. Uh, totally, I attended uh, six interviews. Uh, at the sixth one, only I cleared. Hmm. Uh, then, um, the most thing I have focused is uh, uh, FIMM. -M. Integration. So major, yeah, FIMM integration. Uh, they ask like in which area you are strong. They are fo uh, focusing only on that area. Majority of the interviews, uh, they focused uh, on the area which we are more strong. So that means uh, uh, as per your resume. So whatever it is there in your mm. resume, accordingly, they are going to ask the questions. Yeah, exactly. And uh, one more thing I will add here, according to job description. If there is a job requirement on that particular area, then we'll, we'll be there. But obviously, job description or your resume will be shortlisted mm. uh, as per their requirement only. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yes. Mm. Then? Then, uh, yeah, that's all, uh, Pradeep. Uh, you can ask me anything. Uh, I can answer <laughs> no, it is, You are going to... And uh, uh, controlling, controlling, like, uh, controlling side, you face any problem or any questions particularly on those area? Because initially when someone... Uh, new to SAP consulting or uh, going to start career. So I know that controlling, they are not that good. Mm. So how you manage that part? So in controlling, mainly they are focusing into COPA. Profitability, okay. Yeah. Uh, apart from that, uh, there is a costing methodology. Cost what calculation. Product costing, yeah. Ah, product, product costing, uh, like there was a question like, uh, what is routing? Uh, what is bill of material? Uh, so the general questions was there, uh, not the scenario based questions. Questions will be there. So mm. that means uh, associate consultants, uh, controlling part scenario questions. Uh, like you can say questions are there, but it is not that uh, uh, how they are giving focus on the finance. Uh, you are saying that that is not related to like if you'll say, let's say 10 questions are there out of these mm. 10 questions. How many finance questions and how many controlling questions? Eight from finance two from controlling. <laughs> you are lucky then. <laughs> it's not like that. Controlling questions are Probably. there. Maybe uh, like you are lucky. So in uh, six, all six interviews, uh, you are saying that uh, controlling questions. No, no, no. In the last interview, which I cleared, I am saying talking about only that. Uh... Okay. And uh, other interviews? No, overall, I'm asking. One interview you cleared, oh, oh. you got the job. But overall, uh, overall experience, I'm asking. Overall, uh, six from finance, uh, maybe four from controlling. Controlling. Uh, okay. Yeah. And majorly controlling questions from this broadcasting and profitability analysis. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because uh, uh, someone is going to check your knowledge, uh, obviously, if you are going to check the product costing uh, knowledge, then automatically cost center, internal order, so those things also automatically it will be covered. Mm. So uh, that one, okay. Any other challenges, anything you... 
because uh, after training i think uh, two months two to three months yeah prepared, right? three, yeah yeah three months three months, three months, months I prepared. I prepared. Huh. then i started okay during uh, during training like anything you are focusing uh, during training like how during preparation time your training preparation time how it will because i know like uh, overnight nothing happened so uh, yeah definitely. like how was that, that time your preparation so here uh, while attending the training itself hands on is very important uh. So uh, I created two to three company codes and I was working uh, along with that. Uh, uh, so it helped me a lot. Uh, only re re uh, to so be uh, everything uh, you configured, uh, I'm asking, I know all this, but still yes. I'm asking so that other, it will help others. Yeah, so yeah. you configured everything, all end to end process, everything you configured in three company codes. Yeah. So do you think that one company code is enough? Let's say someone is saying, let's someone is saying, let's say I will just uh, complete one one implementation. Is it okay? Not no, it is not at all uh, okay because uh, if we are going to work only with one company code means, uh, then uh, if we see the same screen uh, on, on some other day, it looks uh, new for us. So if we work with two to three company code, then the screen, key codes, everything is going to get familiar to us uh, at mm -hmm. the time of interview. Uh, they are asking uh, what field we are uh, exactly for what purpose we are using this field so it will help uh, only if you work with two to three company codes uh, we can recall what are the fields over there uh, so we can answer for so those that means questions some, uh, more practice is required yeah definitely okay and uh, what about theory like only you are doing practice on hands-on you are focusing on hands-on or uh, any theory part also like simultaneously yeah, theory must be you preparing or no uh, I was preparing for theory also. The blog which you, you shared me, from that only I prepared all the theory. Uh, to be frank, uh, uh, I got questions from that also. So, that so means, your blog uh, really oh, helped me a lot. Yeah, thank you. So that means uh, we can't say that uh, uh, we should focus on hands-on theory not required. It's not like that, right? No, definitely not. So theory part also we have to... Uh, it is very important uh, to focus okay, on... Okay, a lot of people, part. they have confusion like... Uh, uh, I'm, it's very stupid question, but still I'm asking. Like in interview, they are going to give you in system like do this hands on, do this configuration or in this way, or they will ask the question logically. Definitely what you are getting logical my question? questions. Yeah, yeah. Like for example, let's say one system is there, mm. SAP screen is open. Do this configuration for us in this way, or they will ask uh, logical questions like if you are going to do this configuration, what is the logic behind it, or this is the scenario. Definitely, uh, the logical thing was there are scenario based questions. No one asked me to uh, do hands on uh, in front any, of them. Any system because a lot of people yeah. they, they are thinking uh, because mm. I got comments on this like in uh, in interview rooms some some computer should be there or laptop should be there mm. and we have to do the configuration there is it like that or okay? so no not so at it, all uh, it all six like i attended that. the virtual one uh, <coughs> no one asked me to do any configurations in the system so uh, only the logical uh, yes, mm. yes so but yes hands on is required because on the mm. basis of hands on only you can confidently uh, you can uh, answer anything so uh, okay uh, anything else uh, no, Pradeep, uh, I can disclose what are the questions I asked. Uh, they asked me in the interview. Some okay, uh, one question I have like, normally, participants most of the time they think what they're let's say they completed training, let's say they attended one interview, two one interview, rejected. So, how you are managing your uh, normally so some rejections will be there, so definitely it is not good, you will not feel good th with that. So, how you are handling this part? So initially, even I did not uh, clear interviews. At that time, I started to focus more on configuration. So uh, whatever the questions they asked, I started to take answer for those uh, with help of you or with the help of internet. So uh, once attending interview, two to three interview, I got to I came to I got some idea from that. So I have started to focus more on that. Then uh, from third to fourth interview, it goes calm. This is how I manage. But uh, initially, when I uh, got rejected, uh, I, I got, even I got disappointed uh, when things happen. But I focused more on my configurations. So it helped me a lot. So that means uh, no one should uh, disturb with rejections. Anyway, rejection is going to help you. Or, yes, like, definitely. It is going to give you some add-on. Okay, so you will get to know like what type of questions they are asking mm. or how you need to prepare. So you should learn from the rejection. It's not like disappointed. I rejected, disappointed, two interviews. I'm not able to clear. So it's not mm. like that approach should not be there, right? Yes, exactly. You're right. You're right. Okay. Anything else? Anything like you 
uh, during your preparation because a lot of people they they are they are thinking like uh, it should be something happened overnight like we not at all uh, prepared uh, and uh, uh, we started preparing and uh, maybe after 10 days 15 days one interview we should clear so it is is it like that or uh, really like i took a 6 to 7 months uh, for preparation Uh, hmm. Then I started attending interview. Even six after... months means you are saying that including training from... time. Right, exactly, exactly. From during training period, uh, yes. I start my preparation from that. Uh, uh, after completion of training, uh, simultaneously I was working with my preparation and also along with that I was taking interviews. So, so hmm. that I get to know where I am weak, uh, where I have to improve. So such things I get to know. So we should not wait for the day to complete our preparation simultaneously. Uh, if we completed eighty to ninety percent of the preparation, we start. We should start attend the interview so that uh, we get to know where we are, we or where we have to focus more. Uh, so this is how uh, I worked actually. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. So I think you answered everything, but uh, uh, like uh, it will help others. So anything like you face the challenge a lot. like uh, luckily you got the job but still you think like uh, this is the area in future i need to work more on this area uh, right now you got the job so yeah, it's yeah. okay but still let, let's say this area you should be focused maybe someone should work on this area or maybe he or she is going to reject on that basis anything from your experience Uh, like uh, i will say i am i should work more on again you know, with configuration part uh, because uh, it is no no when you are saying like configuration you are saying a lot of end, uh, any okay. particular area like uh, what will be your future agenda like you will uh, uh, th- this area it is a gray area for you and you are going to uh, more work on this in future because anyway this is starting of your career you are going to mm. be there uh, like you are going go, uh, you are going ahead a lot so what area you are going to work on area or are you still you have not planned that no still i have not planned really so no i haven't planned uh, okay mm-hmm. thank you kavita so mm-hmm. it's uh, like all the best and uh, but uh, it is just starting of your career because in future i know like you recently got the project and you are discussing so lot of challenges will be there and i'm mm-hmm. sure you are going to handle everything and you are going to learn lot of things from your work experience and in future you are going to be very successful consultant and you are going to uh, not only help you obviously uh, you are going to help others like in uh, in our sap community you are going to uh, share your knowledge in future also so uh, yeah. you can also register with sap blog you keep writing your experience i know it is too early but mm. uh, if you will uh, uh, join there and you will write so you can share your experience also yeah. uh, so that it will help others okay sure